What's going on, everybody? It's Chris at Transient Mobile back for the Scarlet Blue Reacher vocals session, the ever important vocals. Uh, this song actually, right off the bat, drew me into the vocals uh, in, in a good way, but also in a bad way. In a bad way, because there's some really belting it out vocals through here. So normally I start with drums or I start getting my basic sounds. But with this thing, I had some huge sections that I could just tell were cranking it out pretty loud right off the bat. So I went through and found some of these sections. And if I had the newer version of Pro Tools, you could just clip gain them. I went through and just made some adjustments before I did anything else on this thing. I just had to tame them a little bit because he, he really gets going on some of these. Uh, that, that's really the only thing bad I have to say about it. Uh, other than that, I think it's a great song and great vocals. I'll walk you through the process on this, and uh, we'll hear what I did to clean it up, control it, and a couple other decisions I made. And if you'll notice, not all these plugins are going at all times. Check this out, and I will break it down for you after a little example. I am so tired. Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me You're just a liar Always makes me want to try You made me higher Higher than I've ever been before You're just a liar Alright, uh, so with this thing And I'll go with this second little chunk of vocals here you made me higher. We'll solo this up uh, with the EQ. Same thing as usual. Cutting out some lows. Anything I could find that was a little bit offending. So we'll listen to hear what this sounds like dry. Actually, I'll take off. The, I'll leave the compressor on. You made me higher. Higher than I've ever been before. You're just a liar Always makes me want to cry Oh, trying so hard to reach her But she's always on the run Alright, so not a huge change in tonality I was just cleaning up a lot of the low end that you can't hear a little bit of noise here and giving him some sparkle on top. And for some dynamics taming, I ended up going with a 4 to 1 with this Bomb Factory, which isn't something I use a lot on vocals. I end up using this guy on drums quite a bit. Uh, but I ended up just liking the tone that it gave the vocal. Oh, trying so hard to reach her. But she's always on the run. And mainly it's a dynamics controller because this guy's just belting the vocal out, especially later on in the song. Speaking of later on in the song, let's just we'll check this out on the second chorus here, which leads us into the bridge. And the bridge, I ended up adding some effects on the vocals and the drums. So we'll listen to this chorus real quick and then we'll check out the bridge. We do have some background vocals coming in right there. Uh, let's check the bridge out real quick and then I'll show you a little bit of the effects automation that we did. I am so tired. Alright, so here, definitely notice bypassed a few things, added a few things. Actually, I skipped over this secondary compressor. This is called stacking compressors. So instead of making them both work like super hard and sounding compressed and squashed, if you just use the compressor sparingly on the loudest sections, like that thing's loud, 
uh, you won't have both of them working quite as hard. So let's, you know, this is a 2 to 1, 2.5, but check out how it's working. You know, only when he's really belting out, it's taking some off. Uh, and I, I raised it back up so when it does squash it. Uh, but I'm not going for like a super compressed sound. I just wanted dynamics control and stacking them both kind of gave me that because he was pretty all over the place on, on the vocals on this. All right, now back to where we were on the bridge. I ended up doing a few things. I add in this EQ here which I end up using a, a telephone effect, rolling off the highs, rolling off the lows, and giving some real kind of mid uh, emphasis. Sounds like he's speaking on a telephone. Nothing new there. Uh, second one, I did this air enhancer uh, and just kind of swept it around till I found just the frequency I was looking for. I'll break this down a little bit more in a second. And the third thing... I added some saturation and distortion. Just kind of wanted some grit and scratch it up a, a little bit with this thing. So let's hear what this sounds like and then I'll break down each piece. I am so tired. Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me. You're just a liar. Always. So I wanted a, a decent little shift just to break this section up a little bit from what his voice normally sounds like. And by the time I get to this last little line here, I, I shut these two off. So let's go ahead and break down what these things sound like. Uh, with just the EQ, we're looking at just this. I am so tired. Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me. You're just a liar. So just giving that sort of telephone quality. And I'll go ahead and bypass that. With the air enhancer, it's kind of a weird effect. I am so tired. Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me. You're just a liar. But I think it adds to that quality, kind of grits it up a little bit. And then this lo-fi... I am so tired Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me You're just a liar And that definitely is adding These two are adding quite a bit to the effect I am so tired Forsaken dreams I mean you can hear too much artifacts going on So definitely rolling that off And focusing on this It doesn't sound quite as bad I am so tired Forsaken dreams is what you gave to me So it ended up working once I cleaned it up with EQ, which isn't how I approached it. I knew I kind of wanted the sound to be thinned out and mid-rangey, and then I added the uh, enhancer and the lo-fi as a something to make it stand out even more, give it a little bit more character. Uh, so I didn't, didn't hear the whole low-end breakup kind of degradation bit crushing kind of sound that we were just hearing on that the other thing that was big on the vocals for me uh, along with the guitar i ended up doing the same kind of reverb sends and all that and i wanted sort of the build up on this thing so on my vocal sub here i got a delay and a reverb going on so we'll focus in on this guy a little bit Now here's the reverb. As the song's progressing, I'm kind of building it, building it, building it, and until we get to the second verse. So in the intro, you remember it's just a guitar and vocal, so it's kind of as the instrument's coming in, I'm, I'm bringing that in. 
And as far as the delay goes, uh, I think I have... Yeah, muted sections. So this course, I wanted to add a little bit of energy. Bridge, it's tightening in your face, so I took it out. And then for this last chunk, and the final course, I wanted it back in because the band's back. Everybody's in, going for the final finale. Uh, so that's kind of some dynamics with the effects. Uh, instead of just leaving a reverb on or delay on through the whole thing, uh, I think it's cool to kind of play on the dynamics of the song. So uh, that's it. what I ended up doing on those. With the background vocals, uh, he only has those in a couple of spots, but they're cool. I pretty much left them as is, threw them over to this vocal, put a little reverb on them. In fact, it's the same reverb that uh, the lead vocal is sharing. So we'll listen to these guys kind of soloed up right here. Uh, of course, I don't always have that on, so let's go back to read automation. Obviously trying, desperately trying to please her, but she's always on the run. And I told you that guy is belting some vocals out. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll listen to this last little chunk with the background vocals. It's make me wanna try. Oh, oh, oh try so hard to reach her. Oh, try so hard to reach her. And I got them pretty washed up in the reverb, but uh, let's bypass the effects here. Oh, try so hard to reach her. Run. And then together. It's make me wanna try. Oh, oh, oh try so hard to reach her. But she's always on the run. Alright, so that is pretty much the vocal chain on this thing and I thought it was cool harmonies I like the dynamics how they built the whole song uh, the guy really does belt it out on the courses I, I liked it quite a bit I like this song right off the bat and the only other things that I have going on uh, I don't really do any other automation these guys got the sort of playing on the dynamics of the song reverb I ended up just finding a setting that I liked a room, not much pre-delay, kind of killed off some of the low frequencies, you know, cut some of the highs, tamed it to where I liked it. Uh, it's kind of track dependent on that. Uh, delay, it's pretty much the same thing. Just found something I liked with the timing of the song. Split the tracks a little bit on, you know, each side isn't exactly the same. I think that gives a little bit of space and lets you hear the delay without it being just, you know, blasting out of left and right equally. Pitch delay I'm actually not even using. It's just there from a template. And uh, that's about it for the vocal pass. So this is Chris from transientmobile.com. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them below, and I will reply once I see them. If you have any suggestions on any videos you like, as per usual, leave me a comment and I will get on a video that you guys want to check out. I will see you guys on the last Final Mix video. Thanks for checking this thing out. I'll see you guys on the next one.